Hello guys, how are you? Uh, so we will start our vocabulary lesson, science and technology, uh, lesson 21. Uh, before we're going to start with uh, giving a constant clue for each word and solve column A, uh, let us initially uh, give the right pronunciation for each word. So the first word is differentiate. The second one is empirical. Uh, then, uh, officious, renounce, testimonial, disparity, facetious, quiescent, scathing, treaties. Okay, right now, let us give the count's clue for the word differentiate. Paracelsus, 1493-1541. Swiss scholar helped differentiate or distinguish chemistry from alchemy and instead of using alchemist traditional approach he identifies chemical reaction that could cure disease in this context we can tell that the word distinguish is the context clue uh, for the word differentiate uh, and the part of speech is verb the second word is disparity a great disparity or inequality exists between the recognition given to Mary Paul, 1626-1678, a little known scientist, and her brother, the famous chemist Robert Paul, 1627-1691. In this sentence, we can tell that inequality is the context clue for disparity and the part of speech is noun. The third word is scathing. Robert Boyle had to defend his first important work against scathing criticism. It is remarkable that he persisted in his effort when faced with such harsh judgment. The Kant's clue in this word is harsh and the part of speech is adjective. So scathing is adjective. Number four, Emperor. The English physician William Harvey, 1578-1657, by performing various experiments, empirically demonstrated that blood circulation begins in the heart. The Kant's clue for the word empirically is the word experiment. So, experiment is the count's clue for empirical and the part of speech is adjective. Number five is the word renounce. 17th century scientists such as Harvey and Paul pursue scientific inquiry for its own sake. Some scientists today concerned with the practical application of their work have renounced or turned their backs on this approach to research. The Kant's clue for the word renounce is turn their backs, which means give up. So renounce means turn their backs or give up. And the part of speech is now okay the next word is facetious satirist Jonathan swift witty depiction of the academy of projectors Gulliver's travel is facetious showing misguided scientists attempting to extract sunshine from cucumbers in this sentence, the Kant's clue is misguided. So the Kant's clue is misguided. And the part of speech for this sentence is adjective. Oh, sorry for this word. The next word is officious.